Hi, my name is Brandon Bryce, and we are in iWeek 2012. Right now, we're sitting in the ATN DAC Pavilion, and what we're actually showing here is our new 6556 uh, PPMU, or Per Pin Parametric Measurement Unit, high-speed digital I.O. device. Uh, this device actually features 24 channels of dynamic digital with uh, Per Pin Parametric Measurement capability. So what we can actually do is force voltage and measure current, or vice versa, force a current and measure a voltage. Uh, this particular application is geared towards the semiconductor industry. So what we're actually doing is testing uh, some ADI uh, DACs, or digital to analog converters. So what we have here are four 6556s. We're showing off the multi-site capabilities, uh, as well as two 4110 uh, power or source power uh, units. And what we're actually doing is powering up these DUTs here. And then we have three uh, 5922 digitizers, which are actually taking uh, the analog output from the DACs and then bringing those back in. So you have a system set up here with the 6556, the 4110 power source or power supply, and then the 5922 scope. So what we can actually do here is do per pin DC measurements. Where we're doing V versus I. We also have some current leakage per pin. So we're at zero volts and 3.3 volts. We're able to take current leakage measurements. And we have here a histogram which is showing that. We also have negative continuity, and we're actually sinking 100 nanoamps into that. So if we refresh, you can see all the uh, measurements that are being taken there. We can also take a look in the functional performance. We can sweep through 250 kilohertz to 6 megahertz and take a look at the signal-to-noise ratio, the differential non-linearity, non non <laughs> and the spurious-free dynamic range, and finally a uh, sweep of the frequency spectrum here. So if we refresh again, you actually see all those measurements being taken. And then finally, the 6556 features uh, basically parametric or um, functional test characterization. So what we can actually do is sweep through the VIH threshold. And we're actually taking the voltage output high and sweeping that down until we actually reach the threshold where we notice a change from our digit digitizer. We're also doing the exact same thing with the voltage input low. So we're taking, starting at the bottom and sweeping that up until we notice a change as well. And so you can actually see that we can actually lock on to when the actual voltage input low threshold is for these digital analog converters as well. So this is kind of a look at what we're doing in terms of the semiconductor industry with this 6556 device. Thank you for coming.